Please answer these questions. Look at the passage again if you need to. You should choose the best answer and mark its letter on your answer sheet. 16. Which of the following best matches the author's description of what her brother was like as a child? This paragraph gives us a very good insight into what Corinne felt about her brother. She says that he struggled in a patient and fragile sort of way with that terrible trouble of asthma. So she noticed that he was struggling and yet he was always ready to give the turbulent little ones the drink of water, book or plaything which they vociferously demanded or equally ready to weave for us long stories of animal life, stories closely resembling the jungle stories of Kipling. So, despite the fact that Theodore Roosevelt struggled greatly with that terrible trouble, asthma, he was always available to his younger siblings, to bring them things which they needed, or to weave them stories. This means that A can be eliminated. There is no evidence to suggest that he was loud and obnoxious, and although we can say that he was probably very intelligent, there is no evidence for the two first words here, meaning A cannot be true. B is certainly not true. There is no evidence that he was unkind and moody. He might well have been quiet, but we know that he wasn't unkind to his younger siblings. C is a better choice of answer. It says clever, imaginative and kind. He was clever because he had an extremely good knowledge of natural history, even at the early age of seven or eight. He was imaginative because he used that knowledge to give the creatures of the forest and field impersonations as vivid as to those which Rudyard Kipling had made immortal for all time. In other words, he could weave excellent stories for his younger brother and sister. He was kind because even though he was struggling with asthma, he would never fail to bring them what they needed. D says playful, healthy and bright. He certainly wasn't healthy in his early life. We know he had asthma. He might well have been playful, but that's not really the description we're given here. He sounds solicitous and kind to his younger siblings, not playful in any sense. Although he was undoubtedly bright, because we cannot use these two words in conjunction with a description of Theodore, we cannot give D as the right answer. E says diffident, bookish and imaginative. Diffident is when one is quite shy because of a lack of confidence and in a previous part of the text we were told that Theodore's personality filled the room so there is no sense of him being diffident. He might well have been bookish because we know that he had an extraordinary knowledge of natural history and he was certainly imaginative because he made up incredible stories for his siblings but because we cannot give the first word here as true, answer E is incorrect, and C was indeed the right answer to this question. And you can show the correct answer of C on the answer paper like this.